Audio is a powerful channel for increasing the accessibility of your content by making it easier to consume. The code-free audio content creation tool provided by the Azure Speech Service feature lets you easily test out text-to-speech, or TTS, capabilities and build highly natural audio content for a variety of scenarios. Custom expressions for AI chatbots, audio programs for news broadcasts, lifelike narration for video, and audiobooks are just a few applications. Using the audio content creation tool, you have easy access to more than 100 pre-built voices across close to 50 different languages, including the state-of-the-art neural TTS voices and any custom voices you may have built. With a user-friendly interface, you can visually control speech attributes in real time and can quickly create more accurate, expressive, and customized audio outputs in an efficient manner. Getting started with the audio content creation tool. To get started with the audio content creation tool, go to Speech Studio at speech.microsoft.com and find Audio Content Creation. On the landing page, you can get a quick overview of how this tool can help you create audio outputs for a variety of different use cases. Click Get Started to open Audio Content Creation. Log in with your Azure account. If you're new to the speech service, you'll need to create a speech resource. Since I already have an Azure account and a speech resource, it links me directly to the Audio Content Creation product page. You can also change or manage the speech resources in Settings. All of your speech resources under the Azure account subscription will be shown in the list. Here are the simple steps to create a new speech resource right within the studio. Click Create New. Then create a name for your speech resource. The Azure account subscription will automatically load after you log in. Azure is a global cloud platform that is generally available in many regions worldwide. This region represents a specific data center. To get the best performance, select a region that's closest to you or where your application will be run. Neural TTS is not supported in all regions. If you'd like to use Neural Voices, make sure that you create your resource in a supported region. Finally, select the right pricing tier that you want. Select S0 to access all features including long audio creation and custom neural voices. It will take one or two minutes to get the new speech resource ready. If you have multiple speech resources, you can simply choose the one most suitable for your project. Click on Go to Studio to go back to the product page. Now we can start to use the tool to generate audio. Testing out the text-to-speech voices. Click on New File to get started. Type or paste your content into the editing window, and next we need to give a voice name for the content. The speech service offers more than 100 different voiceovers from around 50 different languages, giving you a variety of voices to choose from. The audio content creation tool includes all of the Microsoft TTS voices, including the latest Neural TTS. Even your custom voice is also supported in the tool. You can use your custom voice to create unique audio content. You can also easily test different voices with real-time playback and choose the ones that are best suited for your content. Let's hear some samples. Now, let's give a voice to each of these sentences. This sentence is in English, so I'll choose English US and Aria Neural. The next sentence is in Portuguese, so I'll choose Portuguese Brazil and Francisca Neural. Lastly, I'll choose Chinese Mainland and Yunyong Neural. Let's check out how each of these voices sound by hitting play. By hosting your applications in Azure, you can start easily scale your applications as your customer demand grows. Conheça o país onde são faladas mais de 800 línguas. 为了在疫情期间尽可能地帮助人们减少聚集，微软与合作伙伴一起面向全国基础教育和高等院校，提供以Office 365及Teams远程协作为核心的在线教育平台。As you can hear, the voices are very human-like and high quality. Fine-tuning custom expressions for AI chatbots. Voice interaction has become ubiquitous. 
A big part of our daily voice interactions with conversational AI revolve around standard questions. These frequently used responses should sound pleasant and natural. To achieve this, the audio content creation platform lets you customize TTS audio output to optimize performance for different scenarios, including tweaking domain-specific expressions. A good example of this would be chatbots. Let's say we want to build a customer service bot. How can we make the voice output more suitable for this use case? Customer service has a different speaking style than regular conversational speech. It's oftentimes more warm and friendly. This tool enables you to change the voice style to suit different scenarios. To change the voice style, click on the tuning panel. There are many different speech attributes listed on the left-hand side of the interface that we can adjust. Before making any changes, let's hear the default version first. Good morning, Pizza Loco. This is Jeremy speaking. All right, it's going to be right in front of your door within 39 minutes. Thanks for calling Pizza Loco. Have a great night. We can hear that the voice output is very natural, but we want to make it more suitable for a customer service scenario. Let's choose the content we want to tune by highlighting it with our mouse. On the left-hand side of the interface, you can see the style feature. When you click on it, a list with various speaking styles and emotions will pop up. For this case, we'll be choosing customer service. Let's see how it sounds. Good morning, Pizza Loco. This is Jeremy speaking. All right, it's going to be right in front of your door within 39 minutes. Thanks for calling Pizza Loco. Have a great night. We can hear that the voice is friendlier and the prosody more relaxed. I would also like to demo another really cool feature to further increase the expressiveness of the prosody. Select the content in the editing window. Scroll down on the left hand side of the interface until you find the intonation feature. The selected content shows up with its duration boundary. The canvas's X axis represents the sentence's time shift percentage and the Y axis represents the percent of change in prosody. Add some points to the canvas to indicate the prosody changes. For this example, I want to make the intonation for the word great a little higher, so I pull up the prosody lines. Let's preview the audio to compare the difference. This is the original audio. Have a great night. This is the tuned version. Have a great night. As you can hear, the second version sounds much more positive. Once you've tuned everything to your liking, simply click Done to apply the settings. If you're totally satisfied with the fine-tuned voice output, you can export or download the tuned audio. Not only is it easy to tune voice output, it's also easy to copy the SSML and integrate it into your applications. SSML is the source code of the TTS output. If you're building a bot conversation, you can take the tuned SSML as a template, use a static part with high-quality tuned markup, and set the patterns or rules for the dynamic part you'll then get a fine-tuned version of a customer service bot. Building audio for news broadcasts. It can be difficult to generate audio versions of the daily news in a timely manner. Audio content creation helps tackle this challenge. News broadcasts have to deal with proper names, places, and events that have specific or unique pronunciations. The audio content creation tool helps you tailor voice output to ensure that these names are reported and read aloud in a precise way. Now let's build a short news broadcast. This is a news dialogue that I prepared. I'll use a female voice and a male voice as the two news anchors for the sample. Let's hear how it sounds. Welcome to the Microsoft News Late Night Edition. This is Mia. This is Guy. Microsoft release preview of Microsoft Family Safety App. Tired of irrelevant emails? Microsoft enables a feature to block reply all email storms. Adaptive Biotechnologies and Microsoft launch virtual immune RACE study to inform novel COVID-19 diagnostics. Now while the voices sound relatively natural and human-like, there are some areas we can fine-tune to make the voices sound better. Let's take the second sentence for example. This is Guy. After listening to the sentence, you can tell there's a longer pause between this and is. To get rid of the pause in the second sentence, simply click on the break feature on the left-hand side of the interface and select no break. Let's take a listen now. This is Guy. 
As you can hear, the break has been removed. Now for the third sentence, the word app is being read too fast. Let's change the speaking speed with the rate feature. You can change the speaking speed by adjusting the rate slider to match the multiplier you want. Let's hear how it sounds now. Microsoft Release Preview of Microsoft Family Safety App As you can hear, the audio is a lot clearer now that the speaker speed has been slowed down. For the final sentence, the word immune race is mispronounced. Immune race. The audio content creation tool offers several ways to edit pronunciation issues. You could use a substitute customized word to act as a sub-alias, you can also enter IPA phones to specify the word's pronunciation. And lastly, you could add say as tags to define a certain pattern. For this example, let's input a customized word to act as a sub alias. Input the sub alias under the pronunciation feature. Immune race. After you're satisfied with how the audio sounds, you can export and download the audio. When you export news articles audio output, we recommend you choose export to audio library as it allows you to synthesize the whole input script with the TTS batch generation. Creating natural sounding audiobooks. Our eyes can get tired from looking at a screen all the time. Audiobooks have become an increasingly popular way to reduce reading fatigue. Ebooks usually combine hundreds of chapters in one file. However, audiobooks tend to be organized by chapters. Each audio correlates to one chapter. Splitting the whole book into small parts will be more agile and efficient for the audio creation workflow. The audio content creation tool offers three ways to split files. First, click Upload. Next, choose the file from your PC. Finally, you can split the file by paragraph, by maximum supported characters, or by customized regular expressions. If you have a large amount of content, you'll be automatically asked to split the files. For this audiobook, I'll use the last option to split the file since I want to split the audiobook into different chapters. Next, input the regular expressions, then click Upload to complete the function. As you can see, the file's been split into multiple smaller files. You can click on individual files and edit the voice output for each. All the editing and audio files will be saved to the cloud. You can come back to edit them at any time. The files are now ordered by chapters. This feature is especially useful for audiobooks as it allows you to efficiently process long input scripts. Interested in creating your own audios? Head to speech.microsoft.com. Audio content creation is an easy to use tool that enables you to experiment with and fine tune text to speech voices. It's also a great tool for editors to design and create audio experiences from content with just a few simple clicks. Unlock your creativity and get started with a project today. Try out the audio content creation at speech.microsoft.com.